Welcome back to Out Loud, the Selective Mutism podcast. I'm Chelsea. And I'm Anne, Chelsea's mom. And today we're actually going to talk about my children's book called I Am Brave. Mm -hmm. So I thought it would be a good idea just to get together and just talk about the book a little bit. Um, So this will actually be a short episode, but I just wanted to kind of touch upon a couple of things that I had questions about. Um, So the book is a children's book. um, And I know you've been talking for years and years about writing a book. Um, So I'm just curious why a children's book and not like a novel? Right. Um, So I actually am writing a novel and I have started it years ago. Um, It's kind of hard. It's been a hard process writing it. And I found um, this children's book to be actually really fun to do. Um, I just I think it's important for kids to have like a tool like this, something they can relate to. And for the younger age group, although I will be writing a chapter book like for older teens or adults. Good. Glad to hear it. Um, So the book, I Am Brave, it does say on the inside cover, I saw that it's fiction. However, I saw a lot of similarities um, between you, but just put the picture on the front actually looks a lot like you when you were little. Um, So it's, why did you make it fiction? Yeah, I guess it's not about a specific day in my life or anything. And I didn't want it to be about me specifically, although it's based on me and my experiences. I wanted other kids to be able to read it and just reflect themselves into the character Mm -hmm. um, and feel like they're understood without being about me. (laughs) So that makes sense. I actually noticed you didn't name the main character. Was that, Mm -hmm. I assume it was done specifically. Yeah, I mean, I didn't feel like a name was necessary either. And I think when kids are reading a book and it's about someone else, maybe they don't make the connection or I don't know. It just felt like it made more room for them to put themselves in the character shoes. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Actually, Chelsea, um, your brother was visiting me, as you know, last week he was here and uh, he was quite tickled actually to look through the book and he saw that that you included Dottie in a lot of the pictures (laughs) yeah like did you notice Chelsea hit some hit some things in here and I'm like like what he's like Dottie's in this book he goes I just remember her carrying that around all the time I don't think we even talked about Dottie on the podcast I think we might have mentioned it oh maybe not anyway he thought that was really cute and I was surprised he noticed it so Dottie was a beanie baby that I had um, when I was little and I guess we always tell the story and we may have talked about the evaluation I had was, I don't know if it was for selective mutism, but um, I went and brought Dottie and Dottie was answering all the questions for me, but it was really me talking through Dottie. It's just funny that Mm -hmm. I found a way to communicate through a beanie baby. Oh, he's in the book. (laughs) You can find him in some of the pictures. Um, So another question I had was, um, you and I, I know a week, I think it was about a week before you submitted your final copy as you sent me a preliminary copy uh, electronically. And I saw the page mentioning a therapist. And I said to you, are you sure that you want to put that in the book? Um, so do you want to explain why you included that? Yeah, I think even the fact that you would question it shows that there is some stigma around going to therapy. I mean, even when you're a little kid, it can feel like maybe there's something wrong with you or you're different because your friends don't have to go to therapy. So I just wanted to put it in there to show that you're not alone because when I was little, I was the only one I knew who was going to therapy. So I really wanted to normalize it for other kids. And I've heard that it's been working for at least one kid because in an Amazon review, a mom said that um, her child's eyes lit up when she saw that page. Um, because she also goes to therapy. That's great, right? To hear that back. That's super. It's amazing. So the book is, you know, it's a children's book. It's, um, you know, very simplistic, some people would say, as it is a children's book. Um, But I know, you know, in reading it and being your mom, that probably every detail in this book, that you did it (laughs) specifically for a reason, I'm sure. And I noticed that you kind of incorporated some of your personal experiences, but then you also incorporated, I'm thinking some of your BCBA knowledge, like the mantra. Did you have a mantra growing up? Maybe that I didn't know about. 
So yeah, I put positive affirmations in the book because I did not have that when I was growing up. I felt like I lacked coping skills and that was not a part of my treatment. So I want, I think it's a super important part of treating selective mutism to um, challenge your negative thoughts and um, stay positive about yourself and have coping mechanisms to get you through anxiety. So I, that didn't, that wasn't a reality for me when I was little, but I want it to be for other kids. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to show it in this book as an example. That's great. Yeah. I'm hoping that that you do another one, first of all. And then I'm hoping that you put a lot of coping me- mechanisms in the next book, because I always mm-hmm. felt like that was missing from your therapy. Like I always wanted them to teach you what to do in the moment. Yeah like some breathing exercises or something. Or Anyway, I hope you do another one and I hope you include more <laughs> of that. Yes. Um, so you've been getting a lot of feedback, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's exciting to see people in different countries ordering the book. Um, it's amazing. Uh, you, you can find it in any country on Amazon as long as you have an Amazon store. So that's really cool. And I know a lot of people initially were having trouble finding it. Do you mm-hmm. have any tips for people, especially in other countries that are trying to find it? Yeah. So if you search I Am Brave, there's even other books with the same title, which I didn't really research, I guess, but I still like my title. Um, So because I don't have a lot of reviews yet, it helps if you search Chelsea Gamache or the ISBN number, which I don't know off the top of my head. But if you go to our website, outloudsm.com, you can order the book directly from there. I've also made several posts about it on Instagram and Facebook. So I actually have the book right in front of me. So I'm going to actually read the ISBN if you don't mind. Okay. Um, So ISBN 97-987-0486-7500. Or you can also go to www.outloudsm.com. Yes. Get the book. But it's on Amazon (laughs) in every country. And actually, our uh, we have a relative. So my nephew's wife, they just recently got married. But... um, She's a second grade teacher, and she invited Chelsea um, to do a project with her. Do you want to tell everyone about that? Sure. So she reached out to me and said she is buying the book for her classroom, and they're going to read the book together. And she asked me if I would be willing to do a Q&A with her class once they're done reading it so I can answer all their questions. So that's exciting. I think that's amazing. Yeah. I think it's a great, great idea, first of all, Aaron. And um, yeah, like how great would that have been if you had had that when you were little, right? Yeah, uh, I think it'll be yeah. cool to hear like actual kids feedback, like <laughs> to see how they perceive the book. <laughs> right. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So through this whole process, we're almost done. We'll finish it up with like, just a couple more. Through the whole process, um, what, what, what has surprised you? What have you learned or what has surprised you? Um, I'd say... The biggest thing that surprised me is uh, the reach this has had. Mostly, I was expecting like a few families who have kids with selective mutism would be buying this book. Um, But I've had family and friends buying it, even though they don't know anyone with selective mutism, just to support me. And I think also to share with teachers and I've seen sharing with guidance counselors, um, I just think it's cool that it's reaching out further than I expected. That's amazing. And you also had some speech and language people, I think, buy it. Yeah. My friend Meg also bought one for her school and for her um, clients. Yeah. So that's That's great. So yeah, it's great to hear. Um, So besides buying a book, obviously, um, is there another way that people can support you? Yeah, I'd say the number one way is to leave a review on Amazon. Um, I will, I would appreciate any feedback and that helps Amazon kind of push my book more to people who are searching for some kind of resource. Like if they search selective mutism, it'll push that book up more. So there'll be, it'll be easier to find. I know that you're planning on doing a book giveaway. Did you want to talk about that? Yeah. So I want to do a signed book giveaway over on our Instagram, which is Out Loud SM Podcast. So make sure you're following us so that you can see when that is posted. We will also give one away on our Facebook page. Um, 
So go like us on Facebook if you haven't already. Okay, so we'll watch for that. And um, I guess just to finish up, I just want to tell you, obviously, you know how proud I am of you. Um, but I really am proud of you for not just, you know, having the idea, but you actually, you did it. You did mm -hmm. it. Like you have a book now. So I love it. I love the message of it. And I especially love the pictures. <laughs> I keep saying <laughs> that because I just think they're so darn cute. <laughs> and I can tell by looking at them, you actually put a lot of thought into them because she, her little face and the way her eyes look, I can <laughs> tell it's exactly how you felt. Yes, I was trying um, to make that very clear. <laughs> well, it is to me, maybe because I'm your mom, but I love it. I love it. Thank so you. thank you. Thank you. And I'm proud of you for doing this. Thank you. Okay, so that's it for today's episode. We just wanted to just talk about the book a little bit. And um, I guess that's it. Until next time. Okay, so until our next episode, stay loud. <laughs> Be brave. Be brave. Be brave.